I'm QC and you're watching Hollywire. We're here with Keo Sear. Now, Keo, you're obviously here in Miami for the fight. Who are you most excited to see? Definitely Vinny versus Deji. No, 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 I take that back. Taylor versus a Nissan Gib. Because I know because Taylor's a good boxer and a Nissan looks kind of like a clown. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's talking on this smack. Because last time I saw a Nissan fight, he was doing this. Like over and over again. So I don't know how that's going to transfer. But I'm excited for that fight. Are you nervous to see any of your boys go into the ring? Um, I, the most nervous I am is about Bryce's, because that one is the one with the most to lose here, right. but the most to gain. High risk, high reward. I like it, I like it. And now, what is your bucket list for being in Miami? What are you planning to do while you're here? What's the check off? I think I've accomplished my bucket list. I've been on a boat. I've been to a, I have not been to a club. Um, yeah. But you're gonna. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be at a club. <laughs> and so, from Instagram stories, we've kind of been piecing it together. Are you here with Amanda Diaz? I. Okay, listen, <laughs> I am staying with her, but we're just friends. <laughs> okay, are there any other ladies that you have your sights on? Could you see that going somewhere with Amanda? Me and Amanda are really, really good as friends, and I feel like if we were to pursue any relationship I've ever had, when I've pursued a relationship, it always ends with that friendship being broken, okay. and I'm not sure I'm willing to risk that with Amanda, but so far, I'm still single. I'm still single. If anybody out there wants to Ladies, if you're line. a great catch, <laughs> hit his line. Okay, speaking of great catches... You went fishing today. Did you catch anything? Yesterday, and I did catch some. I caught four. Griffin caught one, and I caught four. I'm not sure if I'm just a better fisherman here, but... A professional. A true professional. True professional fisher. Now, this is a little bit off topic, but the Sway House collabed with Magic Spoon to make some cereal. Can you tell me about that? I'm going to be honest. They brought me that idea or like that whole deal when I was streaming. And so I was kind of like, I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's make a cereal. And then as like it progressed, I was like, oh, this is like an actual cereal right. brand that we have in our name. So have you tried both of the flavors? I've tried all the flavors. My favorite is the jelly donut. That flavor is mwah. And your least favorite? If you it's, have one. It's the one that I'm on, the box that I am on. It's the peanut butter one. Of course. And do you have any other plans for any other like business ventures, collabs, anything else that you're looking to do like that? Nothing that I have my eyes on right now, but things that in the future I would like to pursue. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but probably something with like sports, gaming, more food. <laughs> Just to kick things off, we're going to play finish that phrase. If you weren't a social media star, what profession would you do? I'd probably be playing college soccer right now, but I'd probably want to pursue something in the medical field. Okay. What yeah. type of medicine would you want to go into? I take that back. A veterinarian. Okay, animals. We love it. Yeah. He's, he's gorgeous. He loves animals. Ladies, if you're watching, look at this full Please, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Next phrase, I fanboy for. I fanboy for, oh... What's that guy's name? The suspense is Johnny killing Depp. Us. I was going to say Jack Sparrow. Like that's not a person. Right. Johnny okay. Depp. I fangirl for Johnny Depp too. Yeah. So I guess we share that. <laughs> now, next phrase. If I got to propose to any celebrity, it would be. If I propose Shakira. Love it. Love it. Shakira, if you ever get a divorce, no, I'm available, sweetheart. <laughs> He's really putting himself out there on this interview. We're really just sending out all these messages. Now, my guilty pleasure meal is. Guilty pleasure, but definitely just cup ramen. All right, I wouldn't noodle. have expected that, like but ramen, minute ramen. <laughs> my go-to happy dance song. Happy dance song. Whoa! Oh, Danza Kuduro. Which one? Danza Kuduro. It's a it's a Latin song. Okay, all right. I wouldn't know it, but I'll yeah. trust you that it's good. It's good. And lastly, the coolest or weirdest thing a fan alone has ever done for me. It's not weird, but it's the coolest. They sent okay. me like a package. To, 
I don't know how they got my house address, but they sent one package, well, that was it, but in the package was lip balm, and that specific day I really needed lip balm, and yeah, I had lip balm. So, they're a stalker, but they're a stalker that came in clutch. Yeah, whoever, you came in clutch. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, thanks so much for chatting with us and playing this game. Yes. Team Bryce on God. <laughs>